So controversy has erupted over Donald Trump's decision to ban TikTok, along with many other Chinese apps, apparently by the end of this month, unless Microsoft can make a deal with ByteDance and buy it from them. Now, many people have been up in arms about this decision. Who does Donald Trump think he is to tell people which social media apps they can and can't use? Isn't this the beginning of a slippery slope of authoritarian censorship in the US and the world? Isn't it a dark day for free speech when entertainment apps are being banned? And how are we any better than China if we adopt the same practices that they do? Now, these are all valid surface level concerns, but if you think about it, they don't really stand up as arguments. The real scandal here is not that Donald Trump is banning TikTok, but that TikTok was ever allowed to operate in the US in the first place. And why Google and Apple didn't remove it from their stores as soon as they realized what the app was being used for. While on the surface, TikTok is a cringe fest video app for teenagers, a recent report has shown that the app can be used to not only monitor GPS location, device type, MAC address, which is much more than any Western app does, but it was also sending all this information back to a server in China, where I'm sure the CCP would never dare do anything so immoral as to look at it. As for the slippery slope argument, I'd like to point out a few things. There's a very simple rule which can be followed when it comes to which apps you should ban, and that is if it comes from China, it's spyware and you should ban it. This goes for every Chinese app or software or hardware company. They're all required by law to share their information with the CCP. Here are pictures of ByteDance employees, the company which owns TikTok, posing with CCP officials. The same goes for Tencent, which owns WeChat, and Alibaba, which owns Taobao. And if you didn't think it was a serious threat to free speech when Kapersky Labs or Huawei were banned, then you shouldn't think the same with this. Huawei, by the way, was banned because it was stealing technology from the US and selling it to North Korea and Iran. During the first Cold War with the Soviet Union, the US literally banned all kinds of Soviet imports like furs and washing machines, and most companies were actually not allowed to do any business at all with the Soviet Union. And the same logic should apply in this Cold War. Banning WeChat in particular would mean that the CCP is much less able to surveil Chinese citizens living abroad, and have much less control over their own citizens. The bottom line is that the Chinese government is now waging the biggest cyber warfare campaign in history, against mostly US citizens but also in other countries, not just against officials or engineers, but anyone attempting to bribe them, threaten them, hack emails, hack bank accounts, of anyone who has any information that could in any way be useful to the Chinese government. TikTok, like every other Chinese app, is being used to do this, which is why Europe and every other democracy in the world should follow the US and India in banning these apps, and Trump is completely right in doing so. I don't particularly care that Trump is the one doing this, I would also be happy if Joe Biden or Hillary Clinton were doing the same thing, because I think that stopping the CCP is much more important than who sits in the White House. There have been people complaining that it's not even possible to ban apps. How would the US government even do it? This is pure nonsense, as Google and Apple ban apps already. If someone made an app for distributing child porn or ISIS videos, then it would be banned instantly. Finally, what needs to be pointed out is that ByteDance, Huawei, and other Chinese companies are currently operating the biggest surveillance state in history in Xinjiang. And they are using the money and AI systems that are developed through these apps to imprison and target and mass sterilize hundreds of thousands of Uyghurs. And so these apps are currently using Western money to fund one of the biggest genocides in modern history. And if that isn't a good enough reason to ban Chinese apps, I don't know what is. So when it comes to Chinese apps, ban them all. <laughs>